the zombie little sugar boogers. Welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. So today, you guys, we're going to be checking out the latest mod by Percy. It is called the Seasonal Occasions mod, and it was released on December 25th. Now, essentially, what this mod introduces is a slew of different custom interactions your Sims can perform in regards to the seasons, weddings, uh, Christmas, Easter, and so much more. Before diving in, I wanted to go ahead and showcase the home that we are doing this mod review in it was created by Kayla aka little Simsy. it's a really freaking cute house it fits perfectly in Willow Creek and I do believe it was made specifically um, for the winter time in terms of the familia uh, that we are using today this is just the Maplewood legacy some sims I created a while back they're available on the gallery at Gen 2606 now initially how this mod works is again it is called the seasonal occasions so every season that you're sim family is currently um living through i suppose you will be greeted with a brand new pie menu so for instance um it is winter obviously and once we go and click on an opposing sim, we will be greeted with a um, pie menu that says winter. Now, this will be the same for spring, summer, fall, all that jazz. Um, for the seasons, it works only in the season that you're in. So you're not going to have like a bunch of seasonal pie menus for an inactive season, which I love. I love that realism. I love that it's only unlocked if you're in that particular season, which is really freaking cool. Um, so for instance, winter, we can talk about Christmas sweat we can talk about Christmas dinner, camping, share some Christmas tree decoration ideas, um, share some Christmas gift ideas, propose making Christmas cookies, uh, confess to hating Christmas with the little Grinch icon. It's super duper cute. We can also talk about last holiday and winter activity. Let's go ahead and check out some of the interactions. So for instance, I'm going to have Octavia's son come over here and propose to make some Christmas cookies. Now this is actually really oh. cool because if I was was actually playing this on my alone time um I could definitely see this giving me some sort of sense of direction for instance or not even just alone time like LPs in general like I could have him come over here and ask about making Christmas cookies and then they could go downstairs and actually prepare some and pretend um that that was you know for Santa and, and leaving it out with maybe a little a little cup of milk or something um so it definitely adds a little gameplay I'm not seeing any like notification or moodlets or anything now I definitely know that there are some um, but there just may not be some for every single interaction uh, that you perform. So I'm going to see about, uh, you know, maybe talking about Christmas dinner. You know, maybe um, there's something that Easton wants in particular to eat. Maybe he doesn't want to eat the, uh, you know, grand meal or something. I have no idea. Um, okay, so it says grand meal. Oh, my God. Turkey is Octavia's favorite Christmas dinner. That's interesting. I wonder if uh, Easton has a preference. I don't see it, actually. Um, which is, you know, that's fine, I guess. Maybe he just doesn't really care. Who knows? All right, so I'm going to have Ricardo go and maybe um, talk about last holiday to his mother, Mabel. And then I also want to see if there's anything else happening. Uh, we can talk about camping. We can talk about, um, you know, all the things that I mentioned earlier. Let's uh, talk about winter activities as well, just to see if we can get any more moodlets or buffs to show up. Uh, let me go ahead and see. I don't have no idea what the heck they're doing they're not listening i'll tell you that much um let me get ricardo to stop being such a freaking nuisance and actually like listen to me for once because <laughs> homeboy needs to get a grip all right whoa we just did a little we just did a little glitch dance all right let's try this again um we're gonna go back in we're gonna go in winter we're gonna talk about last holiday and you know what let's also confess to hating christmas because you know what it's a financial detriment to um you know ricardo's wallet so he's not a huge fan but anyway this christmas instead of gifts ricardo is giving everyone his opinion. Quite honestly, the gift no one asked for, but I love it. I love it. That was such a good reaction. We're going to go and share some Christmas Christmas gift ideas to Ricardo because Mabel isn't having his Dr. Scrooge moment. I wonder if anything will happen. Nothing happened with the sharing Christmas gift ideas. I would have liked to maybe have seen a moodlet, um, you know, like, oh, that's a really good idea, or maybe even a notification. I love notifications after interactions. I am a sucker 
here for them. With a little bit of mod magic, it is instantly spring. Now, I love the fact that this mod has such a quick turnover rate, like instantly when the season changed, I was able to start kind of engaging in the brand new spring um, interactions. So this is what the new pie menu header looks like. Inside, you will see a couple different options. We can express the need to get in shape. We can talk about the beautiful weather. Um, we can also talk about planting flowers. I would have thought there would have been a few more interactions like, you know, getting excited for Easter or whatever other spring, um, you know, holidays are around the corner. But I am going to actually have Ricardo to go, uh, Ricardo go and express the need to get in shape to Octavia. Maybe he like saw a fitness blog or something and was like, you know what? I could really use that six pack right about now. Aside from making Octavia feel flirty, uh, he did get the uncomfortable moodlet, which says, get in shape. Ricardo wants to get in shape for the summer. I love that it makes him feel uncomfortable, you know? Kind of getting out of your everyday routine and trying something new can be daunting for some Sims. So I wanna see if there is any, like, you know, child interactions. I don't know why we're shoveling Snow Easton. There's literally, like, barely any out on the lawn. Um, but we're gonna come up and we are going to maybe oh hello there what was that it was my dryer okay that was creepy uh can we do anything Ooh, i don't actually think um there's anything that easton can do other than talk about the beautiful weather um i feel like there might be some other mods in here that or other interactions that come with this mod but i'm not actually uh, you know 100 percent sure at all he got an inspired moodlet that says warm weather the warm weather makes easton want to enjoy the beautiful day to the fullest and makes him feel productive apparently kids can get excited for easter but for whatever reason the spring pie menu isn't showing up for Easton. And with even a little more mod magic, it is now summer. Just in case anybody asks how I changed the weather using mods, I actually use the weather controller by VMars, but this particular creator has since stopped updating the weather controller, and I don't even think it's available to download anymore, which is seriously the most frustrating thing ever. Um, I literally have to place it on the floor for it to work, and I'm not even certain if any other modder out there creates any type of weather controller at all but if there is one and you know of it feel free to let me know in the comments down below when it comes to the summertime interactions you have way 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 more to choose from in fact there are quite a freaking lot uh for instance when you go and click on your opposing sim and hit summer you will now be able to ask about having a tan talk about building a sandcastle propose to throw a party you can also talk about swimming and asking or asking Ask them if they would like to travel this summer. We're gonna have Mabel stop preparing whatever it is that she's cooking. Um, she's making some pasta primavera. I didn't even realize that she had like a good wait, she has like a gourmet cooking skill. Is that like that's like very like newbie esque, right? Like it's not even that serious. I thought it was like super fancy for some reason, but I don't know why. She has like an X out of the airplane or like a cross out. It's kind of weird. Um, but she does have a moodlet and it says solo travel. Mabel wants to travel somewhere alone. And now Ricardo's mad dogging his wife. Now I'm a little confused um, as to why Mabel's answering her own question. <laughs> It's a little weird. I'm not I'm not sure. We're gonna talk about some camping. We're also gonna go and uh, Ask if he would like to go swimming just to see kind of what happens here and unfortunately Easton is feeling uh, a little hurt due to a sentiment. But anyway, let me see if Mabel got any more in uh, any more moodlets and it says best natural therapy camping is the best thing that could happen to any sim breathe the fresh air listen to the birds and jump into to the lake moody to swim it's a great day to go swimming it's literally like 5 45 <laughs> in the afternoon and cloudy but you know what i mean who's to judge now um ricardo she's asking ricardo the questions but oddly enough he's not answering them and it's weird because in my um eco lifestyle lp uh the sim that was being asked actually answered now uh for whatever reason mabel does actually have a um best natural a best natural therapy moodlet as well as if uh, i guess mabel was having like a group conversation so when she asked ricardo because they were tied into a group it asked everyone and, and she answered so that's a little intriguing and for the last season we have fall with the slice of life mod by kawaii stacy your sims can actually go trick-or-treating and love the tradition on spooky day with 
with this mod, your children sims or child sims, I suppose, can actually show enthusiasm for the holiday itself and trick-or-treating. So for instance, they can express their excitement for trick-or-treating and they can also go and talk about their Halloween costumes, which is really, really, really cute. I love that. And then I am curious to know what adults can do in terms of the, you know, whole autumn season. If we hop in to the, there's like a little, a little bestie thing here. What is that? Confess to being in love. Oh, that must be a different mod. Um, I'm actually not seeing the autumn option here, which is really weird. Sometimes I do notice like they don't like actually show up the, um, the, the pie menu and that is a little annoying. I'm gonna try one more time to see if it will pop up here. However, Easton did get a moodlet that says, can't we? Easton is so excited to wear a spooky costume and go trick or treating with his friends and get so many candies. For Halloween, Easton wants to be a ninja. I don't actually believe elders and adults can participate in any of the interactions for Autumn other than the fact that they can kind of be somewhat excited about their, their costume. Um, just kidding. I take that back. Now all of a sudden the option pops up. So it's a little inconsistent and honestly, I have no idea as to why. Um, but for adults and elders, they can talk about their plans for Halloween and they can also talk about their Halloween costume as well. So we're going to have Mabel go and talk to Scrooge, AKA Ricardo about her, her plans for, for, for the spooky day. Staying home, Mabel will stay at home, eat popcorn and watch horror movies all night long. Now, if that's not a 2020 mood, I genuinely don't know what is. The only way that you can have the wedding plan interaction show up is if you have two Sims that are engaged. One once you have your sims engaged, you will then be able to have access to the wedding plan interaction pie menu where you can ask about their maid of honors dresses. You can talk about the wedding decorations, the venue, the maid of honors, the bachelorette party, um, the need to have a spa day. You can also confess about being stressed with the preparation and ask if they start finding or if they've started to find um, the wedding dresses. In addition, there is a little preview of some of the moodlets. Obviously, there are more more in a game. Um, for instance, we have uh, red. Zoe wants to wants her maid of honors to all dress in red. I love that because then if I was playing or doing an LP, I would honor that by actually having my maid of honors dress in red. Uh, too much pressure from wanting to relax. Jay needs a break from the wedding preparation to enjoy a relaxing day in the spa. Um, romance festival. Jay wants a small wedding at the romance festival with his family. And then we also also have decor ideas. Hey dad, I'm hungry. Can you come and cook me something? Jay wants white and gold decor. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Well, you guys, that pretty much sums it up for this mod. Of course, there is a bunch left to discover. So if you guys are interested in checking out the seasonal occasion mods by Percy, I will go ahead and provide a link in the description. All in all, I absolutely love the interactions. I love the fact that you can show enthusiasm for certain seasons and also the fact that it does provide a little direction uh, for the game player. Like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, if you if your sim, you know, shows enthusiasm for making cookies, you could go and actually like bake cookies with, you know, the opposing sim or, you know, for instance, Easton wanted to be a ninja. And then for, you know, spooky day, I would follow through by making him a ninja or maybe Mabel was getting married to Ricardo, which was a long time ago. And she wanted uh, her bridesmaid dresses to be red. I would I would go ahead and honor that as well. So there's definitely a lot of like gameplay additives that come with this mod. Um, the only downfall I did find is sometimes when I would click on an opposing sim. Oh my God, Mabel is literally showering naked in the rain. Um, the uh, the the seasonal you know header itself won't show up like for right now. So I don't exactly know why that is. It's a little annoying, slightly frustrating, and then some of the interactions just weren't showing up all. Together. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why that is, but I'm sure it's because these mods are pretty complicated to make, and obviously, I have zero knowledge of that. So, anyways, you guys, I definitely think you should check out this mod again. I will go ahead and provide all of the details in the description down below. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Oh.